Hi, I'm Kim Gottlieb. I'm Jewish and I'm gay. And my life changed when my rabbi came over to me one day and said, are you into leather? Now I enjoyed the double entendre, but what he was actually referring to was, was I interested in starting to put on tefillin, which are these two boxes which have little prayers in them. One goes on the hand and the other on the head. The one that goes on the hand goes on the non-dominant hand because we believe that the dominant hand is the hand that you use being in the world. But the non-dominant hand is the one that relies on unseen forces. So it goes on the muscle and it's wound around seven times. And in some ways this is an act of submission of appreciating that there's a power greater than ourselves. We stop at this point, then put on the one for the head. Our head is so full of thoughts that sometimes we stray away from what is good and best for the world. But it's interesting that it's placed on the point that the Ayurvedics refer to as the third eye, which relates to intuition. So I wonder whether our rabbis thought of that when they came up with the design. Next, we do a prayer that is about betrothal. And it's actually the prayer that's said in the wedding ceremony. And it's almost as if we have moved into a dance of divinity with the divine. But most importantly, we're creating a shin, the first letter of Shema, the Jewish prayer, which tells us that you should bind it for a sign upon your heart and upon your head. And even though life changes from moment to moment, putting on tefillin remains a consistent aspect of my ritual life.